Hi, this is Tammy Persinger with the Jeremy Ward team of Ward Realty Services, and I'm here today to talk about something a little different. Uh, not going to talk about real estate today. I'm going to talk about something that is uh, near to my heart and uh, let you know that this month is National Stroke Awareness Month. Um, never really thought about stroke too much in my past, but six years ago, uh, my mother had a severe stroke. Uh, it was debilitating. Uh, the first stroke that she had put her in rehab and she was there for about six weeks and recovered very well from it. At the age of 83, she was ready to go home. And unfortunately, on the day she was to be released from rehab, she had a severe stroke. Uh, we, they got her immediately to the hospital. Uh, the neurologist talked to me and said, you know, uh, he didn't expect her to make it through the night. Uh, but she's a fighter and always has been. And so she recovered partially from that. Luckily, she could still talk and, and communicate with us. However, um, things like uh, her eating, which most of us love to do, that was affected and that hurt her a lot because she had to be on a certain type of diet. And then also she was wheelchair bound from then on and she had always been very active. So at 83, that affected her. And then at 86, she passed away. So that last three years was a struggle, a real struggle for her uh, and a struggle for our family as well. But what I'm coming to you with today is that stroke just doesn't affect people in their 80s. Stroke can affect any of us at any time. And I have here with me today, uh, Angie Hamilton. And Angie is on our team here at Jeremy Ward. And uh, Unfortunately, Angie has suffered this herself. And so Angie's gonna talk a little bit about what she went through. Hey, I'm Angie Hamilton. And uh, it's hard to believe by looking at me, but I did um, suffer a mini stroke. Um, it was earlier in March of this year. You wouldn't know it. Um, uh, basically what happened to me, I'm only 53 years old. Not every woman tells her age, but for this purpose, we will. And um, I basically started having some problems in my foot. Uh, and my husband and I had started exercising, so I thought, uh-oh, you know, all this crazy stuff. And But I started having numbness, and it kind of started going up my leg. And then I had some vision problems where um, just looked like almost like little spots or something. And for me, um, I thought, hey, I haven't been to the eye doctor in 30 years, so I'm one of those people that doesn't go to the doctor very often. And I thought, I'm just going to go to the eye doctor. So shout out to Dr. Reynolds in New Albany. She, she's the one that really saved my life. Um, we went to the eye doctor, my blood pressure was up. I thought, well, that's strange. And then um, she saw that I didn't need glasses besides readers. And, but she said, let's do some further testing because this could be deeper because she couldn't understand what was going on. And so um, she did some peripheral test and she said, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you've had a stroke. Hmm. And so I was like, wow, you know, because I had kind of thought maybe this numbness in my right foot and this weird eye thing, maybe I did. I, I kind of crossed my mind, but I put it out of my mind thinking, you know, you're too young for that. Or we just think we're invincible. So um, ended up, she encouraged me to go to the emergency room. First, I stopped by the office to write up an offer. But <laughs> anyway, that's beside the point, you know, and, and had um, a lot of people praying for me, including uh, office staff. But um, went to the hospital and then they, um, my blood pressure went up more and they got it down and sent me to the ICU at Norton's and did testing and found out I didn't have a blood clot. I had a rare condition that was a bleed that uh, is a family history. And I should have known because I have family history. My mother had this same um, bleed and I had some bleeding in the middle of my brain. And so they, they are controlling it with blood pressure medicine. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very thankful. Um, thankful I went to the eye doctor, thankful that, um, that I'm doing well and can do things to help myself. So, And you really, I remember talking about this when it first happened here at the office and you're talking about what was going on. You were even thinking that maybe it was COVID symptoms. Yes. And so with everything else going on and, you know, and you were talking about some brain fog and 
things like that that we attribute to COVID. Yeah. And so we try to explain things away. But yes. with stroke, you know, it's just not something to fool around with. You yes. you have to be on it. And if you suspect something, then it is key that you act. Yes. Um, the Stroke Awareness Month, uh, they, they expect uh, that people will hopefully learn a little bit more about this. And, and one of the key things that they share is uh, an acronym FAST. And that FAST, uh, the F is for face drooping. So a lot of people, when they experience a stroke, maybe they'll notice that their face is drooping on one side or the other, um, maybe just around the eyes or something. The second thing is that you might have some arm weakness. You're not feeling like you can lift things and do things that you would naturally do with your arms. Um, the third one is any type of speech difficulty. So if you're having trouble saying things that normally you wouldn't have trouble saying. And then finally, the T in FAST is it's time to call 911. Time to get help because time is of the essence with a stroke. The sooner you act, the better and the more that the doctors will be able to help you. Um, and then some other things that come along with this, and Angie did experience some of these things, were the numbness, uh, the confusion or brain fog, we called it, uh, trouble seeing, uh, the spots that you experienced in your vision, trouble walking, and then also sometimes a severe headache. So just wanted to take some time and we as realtors, we're involved with a lot of people in the community and we love our community and our clients. And we just wanted to take a little time to share something that has affected us personally and we feel very strongly about and we wanted to share that with our community today. And hopefully, hopefully uh, it will save somebody else's life.